and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Fester 67's workshop. Welcome to issue number 23, folks, of Build the Legendary Cyborg Robocop from our wonderful friends over at Fanheim. Now, if you would like to subscribe to this collection and build your very own one-third scale Robocop, two foot tall, click this link just along here. <laughs> Head over to the Fan Home website and hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to build this along with me. And it is a thing of beauty, as you can see. So let's have a look at this issue of the magazine. Delta City, it says, the futuristic urban speculation. The OCP's preferred project was not ED-209, nor was it Robocop. For this unscrupulous businessman, even the purchase of the entire Detroit Police Department was simply a means to reach the end of his own yellow brick road to build on the ashes of a chaotic Detroit society, the urban project of Delta City. Yes, folks. Yeah, that's what he wanted. Uh, in here, Robocop stops the assault on a woman in front of an advertisement for Delta City, which promises a hopeful future. Yes, folks. He's giving you a data file there. What is a city? He says, in the film, the OCP skyscraper towers over old Detroit. Yes, folks. Give these a ring. You know you want to. Here's what we've got in this issue. We're doing the left fire, folks. So you're going to need... To have your leg handy. This beautiful, beautiful thing that we've been building. Look at that. Oh, unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, folks. So have that to hand. Mine is literally just on my left. Uh, you've got a breakdown of all the bits there that you're getting in this issue. So we'll be undoing them shortly. And it's telling you there whereabouts on your Robocop these parts are going to be fitted. Okay. Again, very concise details, shows you step by step what you need, what the part numbers are, also what screws you want, etc, etc. Okay, and in this issue, we're lucky, it's all EM screws. Uh, some of it is snap fit as well, but bear that in mind. Okay, here's what we're going to be assembling, the outer part of the fire there on the left leg, or the inner part of the fire of the left leg, should I say. And there... Is it looking rather splendid? Look at that. And again, considering the scale of that foot, just goes to show you how much more height this model is going to have. And that's basically what we're going to end up with there at the end. It says, work on another planet. You, the robotic arm of a Viking probe. Yes, do you remember the Viking probes? Went up to the surface of Mars. So yes, folks. Laboratories on Mars, arms history, how they make robotic arms. Here it says about trapping carbon dioxide, uh, a solution for global warming. Let's hope that things do improve because, come on, let's save our world. Leave it for the future generations to enjoy. There you go. Look at that. Nature in action. There, a bus stop in the Netherlands, it says here, with its roof covered with plants, helps to pure the air and attract. Bees. What a fantastic idea. Absolutely brilliant idea. I love that. It stops all the all the people jumping up and down on the roofs of bus stops. It just gives gives something, doesn't it? I think some some places are putting solar panels on top of their bus stop, but I like that idea as well. It says here Orca is a direct CO2 capture plant in Iceland that removes four thousand tons of CO2 from the atmosphere per year. Wow. I think a lot of countries now have realised that, you know, we have got the technical solutions, so let's, let's do something good with it. Right, let's spin this magazine over, open it up to our assembly stage that we want. I put my instructions at the back there, just so that I can see what I'm assembling for you. And we'll grab our parts. When we come back, we'll have all the parts laid out ready, and we'll start a bit more assembly. Right, folks, here we go. We have got this section here, beautifully represented in die cast. We've got piece 23B, 
and we've got our em screws just there now this is a snap fit part folks and we want it facing this way with this chamfer almost like an arrow or the narrowest part pointing forward okay and then that press fits into these two holes just here okay so we'll just lose a little nub off the end of there so i'll just do that there you go spin that round and we'll just lay that on these two pins there so that one goes there and that one goes here it'll only go in one way because you've got a large diameter hole and a slightly smaller one so you can only fit this one way folks press it with both your thumbs like that and you want it to sit nice and flush like that then what you want to do is retrieve the parts from your previous issue which is this big massive leg of goodness and you then want to lay this over the top like so okay and what it'll do is it'll locate these three pieces into these dimple okay so that's what you want to do folks just like that okay and then you can lay it down ready to screw together and it's going to be done with the em screws peeps okay so Make sure you've lined up the top one like that. As soon as you get one in, they'll all go in, okay? So that's my plan. So I'm going to use my little grabber to pick these screws up with because it's a little bit easier for me. So let's just pop that on there. Like so. And drop that in place. Which is down there. Once I get one in, I should be laughing. Grab your slightly bigger screwdriver. And I'm only going to do it a couple of turns. And then put my hand underneath the cuppet so that I'm not leaning or stressing any of the joints. I'm not going to fully home it until I've got all the others in there, folks, okay? Grab another screw. So, a little bit of oil on there and we'll go in that top one there just like that grab the screwdriver and lightly do the screws up now i'm just going to angle it towards me so that i can see with the light that i've lined the holes up now that i've got the top two in i'm going to tighten them right down because I felt the others under me thumb there click into place. So I'm happy now that I can fully tighten these screws home. Just pull that aluminum die cast in like so. So that's those done. And then we've got screws to go in these deep recesses, okay? So I might be able to get me grabber of goodness in there. I might not. All right, let's, let's grab the next one. Now I might be able to get these in using me grabber. I'm hoping so. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's grab those and try and get that. But then at the screw, that's what we want. Yep, that's it. And then we can tighten that up. There you go. I'm just going to flick my light on so I can see that I'm doing that correctly. There you go. I've got a big magnifier just to my left that I uh, use just to double check that I'm in the right place. Now the other one is a little bit tighter of a gap so I won't get my grabber down there. But fingers crossed that's going to hold. There you go. I felt that go in. 
so we can just screw that up nicely. Like that. There you go. And that is the inner part of his thigh in situ. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Massive, isn't it? I need to adjust my camera angles, don't I? Because I'm not going to be able to fit this in in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So there you go, folks. That's this issue done. I hope you've enjoyed that. Nice quick issue there, putting that in place. But already that's beginning to take shape. So remember if you would like to build along with me this beautiful beautiful part work click this link just here all the way there Big head over to the fan home website hit the subscribe button and start your subscription to your very own robocop until then remember please subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you on the next issue folks until then stay safe and well bye bye for now